Samantha is very excited because a great new restaurant famous on the other coast is now coming to Florida. <laughs> That's right. Rubio's Coastal Grill is now open on West Shore Boulevard. Yeah! You're here to show us what they're all about. It's founder Ralph Rubio. Welcome. Yes, thank you, Roxanne. Good right. to be here. It's We're a pleasure. Right. We're thrilled because this is something that's so popular oh, out yeah. west, and now here it is in the Tampa Bay area. We've been in, uh, we started in San Diego 33 years ago, and we built a great business. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Now we're coming to Florida, and so we're really excited. We're really glad to be here. We're going to open our first restaurant here this week. And we are excited to have you because normally we have wonderful chefs, but we are getting the actual <laughs> in the house. And we're talking about your background a little bit, though. The farthest east you've come is Denver, so why Tampa? Yeah. Well, it was an opportunity that came our way about a year ago. Um, we found some restaurants. We were able to purchase eight restaurants all at once. And so uh, we are in the process of converting those. Um, the first one opens here in Tampa and then Orlando in two weeks. And then we're going to go into Miami here in about a month. And so by the end of the year, we'll have eight new Rubios in Florida. And usually we open them one at a time, you know, over a period of time. But this was an opportunity to go in all in with eight restaurants, new restaurants. So and tacos big wow. are a big featured item, obviously. It's oh, never yeah. too early in the day to eat tacos. <laughs> That's right. We built it. Our the original, we built a business on the original fish taco, a Baja style fish taco that I discovered. <laughs> that I discovered. <laughs> You are fake news. It's, it's battered fish. You probably had them yourself oh, yeah. with on a corn tortilla, you know, with some cabbage and salsa. But we've expanded the menu. We now have shrimp and mahi mahi and salmon. And so we're known for our grilled seafood now. And we also have um, race without antibiotic chicken and steak and, and a lot of veggie items. So the, the menu's expanded quite a bit over the years. Yeah. Well, you're expanding here on our show. Five hours later. They are bullying me back there. They are calling me fat. Oh, let's yeah, so let in. me make you a few things. So we have a salsa verde shrimp taco that is one of my favorites, okay? So we start with the flour tortilla with melted cheese and a little cabbage. We like cabbage because it has a little crunch to it. It's very fresh. And then we put a chipotle white sauce, which uh, which is mayonnaise and sour cream with some uh, chipotle chilies blended into oh, it. So it's got a little groups. heat. Ooh. Well, and I love that you already get the cheese. I don't know if you can see this at home. The cheese is cheese, actually yeah. already melted in the tortilla. Yeah. Shut up, bitch. That's right. This is kind of a, this is one of our more decadent offerings here at Rubio's. Oh, and darn. Then... darn. Way then... to bring that one in, right? Around. This is the, this is the salsa verde, a lot of flavor. It's flavor town. Where you got tomatillos, poblanos, you've got cilantro and garlic. And you specialize so in all kinds of different salsas there too. Oh, we do. We have all sorts. We have a salsa bar, which mm -hmm. is really wonderful. <laughs> and sauces on the food but then you can go to our salsa bar and customize it and then we add fresh hot avocados we top it with some cilantro and onion and by the way i gotta thank my my man marco soto here he set this all up for us and made it happen <laughs> Good job, marco. and then you have a beautiful salsa verde um, shrimp taco with that we always finish with a squeeze of lime because it gives that nice fresh mm. citrus finish when you bite into the taco that's a great tip beautiful there you go and then uh, I, wait, now wait now you're taking on the opposite side of me okay <laughs> all right now yeah, we, can, like, hey, we can put it on this side <laughs> <laughs> You, want. you know, Ralph, what is it about tacos? I can just sense your passion for them. Where, what was it about? Hey, hey, neighbor, what you doing today? Do not kill yourself. Instead, let's pray. That you were like, this is where I want my life to go. This is the restaurant that I want to build on. Well, you know, uh, my parents are from Mexico, and I grew up in L.A., and I went to San Diego State to go to school, and I had a real love of my heritage and culture. And as I travel through Mexico, it's really about tacos in Mexico. You know, burritos are kind of a, an American thing. Yeah. And so I really learned that tacos are street food in Mexico, and, and that's really what, what it's all about, is tacos in Mexico. And so that really resonated with me. And, and so eating delicious fish tacos and drinking Corona 
was with my buddies, you know, down in Mexico. I had this epiphany and thought, well, someone should be serving fish tacos um, in San Diego. And we actually introduced fish tacos to America. I wouldn't say we introduce it to America. Now fish tacos are ubiquitous. They're everywhere. They're all over the East Coast as well. Wow. So, are okay. oh, you going to take a bite of that? Okay. While you do that, um, we're going to make a, a, our Wild Alaska co-host, Sam, Sam and Taco. That's impressive this is a because corn tortilla. Yes. you talk about how all of the healthy food that you have. And when you uh, wild Alaskan salmon is about as oh. healthy as it gets. What distinguishes that? Between... Northern Atlantic salmon, the taste. Yeah, well, um, uh, well, we until recently we were serving Atlantic salmon, which is farm raised and, mm -hmm. and, and sustainable. But we were able to find um, a wild coast salmon where I think the flavor is better, the, the color, the presentation. You see what a pretty pink it is, and it is also um, responsibly sourced. So we make sure that wherever we buy our seafood is responsibly raised. In fact, I just came back from Alaska, and I can see Russia from my house. <laughs> Where we met with the um, the fishery, the, the actual fishermen who fish this coho salmon out of the Alaska icy waters, you mm -hmm. know, to make sure that they're doing it right and they're responsibly sourcing and and, and fishing the, the seafood. So yeah, so so the coho salmon we think is is a way to go. We bring premium fish affordably to to people, and so let's just finish this. So we have the wild uh, the coho salmon. And then we have some roasted corn. The roasted corn has some ancho and some paprika to give it a little heat. And then we're gonna finish with a little cilantro onion. And we're gonna, of course, what's the last thing? The lime. lime. Yes. There we go. Well, I didn't really think so. through on taking a big bite of that. Because <laughs> this definitely has a great kick to it. So I'm curious about <laughs> Yeah. I mean, we, we like our seafood down here. Okay. So, so what do you hope to bring in the seafood world? A little something different? Or do you feel the pressure oh. of maybe bringing seafood mm -hmm. to the Sunshine State? Well, you know, not at all. <laughs> Try me, bitch. Because um, we're really known for our flavors and our recipes, which are very unique. So there's lots of shrimp, good shrimp tacos and mahi-mahi tacos in Florida. But give us a try because I think you're going to find ours are extra delicious. Da, 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 da. You're still the fucking Snoop and so I encourage everyone to come to Rubio's. I think we're opening up at the corner at West Shore is going to be our first restaurant. So well, this congratulations. Come, this is fabulous. It looks so yummy. I want to try this one. And also, you have sangria specials. We have sangrias. We do serve beer and wine. And we have sangria. And uh, it, it. pairs really nicely with the food. And so we actually have a Chardonnay, a beach house Chardonnay, that will go nicely with any of our um, oh, seafood bet. tacos. And we also have a red. Again, we... Oh, the fuck you say to me, you little shit? Serve chicken and steak as well, so it's not just seafood. Uh, we just introduced our race without antibiotic chicken uh, earlier this year, and it's been a big success. You win. Well, okay, before I continue to make a huge mess, we're going to go ahead and go to commercial <laughs> break, because I will right, be finishing out. this.